and welcome back to Mrs. C Math 2 class online. This is our part 2 of rationalizing the denominator. This time we'll be dealing with binomial denominators which says multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate. What does a conjugate mean? Conjugate means same expressions but with the opposite sign in the middle. By the way, you can find all these examples on the PDF file that I will be attaching on page 14 and 15. So example of a conjugate, x minus y. Answer would be x plus y. a squared plus b squared. So answer would be a squared minus b squared. Basically, they are the same expression, but the what? Opposite uh, 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 sign is what? Unlike, okay, in opposite sign. So, 1 half A minus 3 fourth B. So, answer would be 1 half A minus O plus 3 fourth B. See that? If that is positive, it will become negative. If that's negative, it will become positive. Let's start with number 15. So, 4 over 4 plus square root of 2. So, this time, we need to multiply both of the numerator and denominator by its conjugate. And the conjugate of 4 plus square root of 2 is 4 minus square root of 2. Right? So, since we are multiplying denominator or binomial by a monomial, we need to distribute it one at a time. Now, for the denominator, we are multiplying denominator by the denominator, which is binomial to binomial. You may use FOIL method if you want, FOIL, or you may use difference of squares. You may use difference of squares, where it says, x minus y times x plus y is equal to x squared minus y squared. If you will remember that, it would be easy for you to do the denominator because you don't need to do FOIL and that would be the shortcut or the secret of this topic. Okay, let's continue. 4 times 4 will give you 16. 4 times negative square root of 2 will give you negative 4 square root of 2. Divided by, again, I will use difference of squares technique where 4 times 4 will be 16. Square root of 2 times square root of 2. Remember what, did, what I told you about multiplying same radicand. You will just cancel and then take the radicand, so minus 2. All the answers in difference of squares are minus. So simplify this further. We have 16 minus 4 square root of 2 divided by 14. Now, can you simplify this? I think so because this can still be uh, factored by a common factor of 2. 16 and 4 are both divisible by 2. So we can rewrite that by 2. 8 minus 2 square root of 2 divided by 14. Now, we can simplify 2 and 14. This is 1. This is 7. So, the final answer is 8 minus 2 square root of 2 divided by 7. Is it complicated? I Just keep watching this video and you will understand what I meant. Now, number 16. 2 over 6 minus 5. From my previous um, explanation, I said you may simplify the denominator using FOIL or the technique which is difference of squares. Now, I am using difference of squares. If you are multiplying conjugate uh, binomial, you will come up with x squared minus y squared. Always it's negative. So the conjugate of 6 minus square root of 5 is 6 plus square root of 5. Now, this is a binomial versus a monomial. You need to distribute 2 times 6, 12. 
2 times square root of 5 will be 2 square root of 5. Divided by, again, I will apply difference of squares. So that would be 6 times 6 is 36. Square root of 5, square root of 5. Cancel, take 1. So that would be minus 5. That's the shortcut. Now, so you will have 12 plus 2 square root of 5. 36 minus 5 is 31. Am I right? So I don't think we can still simplify this one because 12 and 2 is not divisible by 31 and there's no number which are divisible by those three numbers. So we need to keep it like that. Let's proceed to number 17. Number 17 square root of 3 over 1 minus 4 square root of 2. What's the conjugate of 1 minus 4 square root of 2? So the conjugate is 1 plus 4 square root of 2. So you have, again, binomial versus monomial. You need to distribute this one at a time. So you will have square root of 3 plus 4. 4 times 1 is 4. Square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6. Divided by... Again, difference of squares, technique, 1 times 1 is 1, negative 4, negative 4 is negative, 16. So this will be cancels out times 2. All right? So you're going to have square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 6 divided by 1 minus 16 plus 16 is 32. What is 1 minus 32? Final answer will be square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 6 over negative what? 31. You may put negative on the center of the 2 like that. You may have this answer or you may leave this answer alone. All right? Question? Leave the comment below. 5 minus square root of 5 over square root of 5 plus square root of 3. So the conjugate of this is square root of 5 minus square root of 3 over square root of 5 minus square root of 3. So... This time, we can't use difference of squares because as you, as you can see, they are not conjugate to each other. But since this is still conjugate to each other, we can use the difference of squares technique. Okay, not for the uh, numerator, but we can use the difference of squares technique in the denominator. So I'm going to use FOIL method here. 5 minus square root of 5. Square root of 5, square root of 3. Again, I'm doing this for the numerator. 5 times will be 5, square root of 5. This and that will give you negative 5. This and that will give me negative 5, square root of 3. That and that will give me negative or positive. 15. Square root of 15. Alright, combine terms. Can we combine something? I don't think so. So that will give us 5 square root of 5 minus 5 minus 5 square root of 3 plus square root of 15. Divided by the magic of difference of squares technique. Square root of 5, square root of 5, cancels out. Take the right again, that is 5. Square root of 3, square root of 3, cancels out. Take the 3, minus 3. Now, hmm, it's a long process. So, can we simplify it further? 5, 6, 5, negative 3. All right, I'm just checking, so I think we are good. So we can't do anything about it. These are unlike radicals. These are unlike radicals, so leave it like that. So our final answer will be, let's write this 5 first. Negative 5 
I'm just rearranging it. I'm not changing any answer. So plus 5 square root of 5 minus 5 square root of 3 plus square root of 15 divided by 2. So let's leave it like that. Please comment below if I make a disaster for number 18 problem. I love to read your comment and if I did something wrong. Number 19, let's go. So times the conjugate of that will be 2 minus 2 square root of 7 over 2 minus 2 square root of 7. All right, again, we're going to do FOIL to the numerator. And for the denominator, we need to use the magic of difference of squares. So that will give us, oh, I'm going to use the space. The bigger, the better. So 3 square root of 7, 2, negative 2 square root of 7. So that's 6, that's 2 square root of 7, that's negative 6 square root of 7, and that will be negative 2 times 7. Why 7? I told you to cancel this out and take 1. Now we have negative 14. Oh, we can combine this. Look. We may now have, this is your numerator. So 6 minus 14 will be what? 8. Negative 8. Right? Again, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Mm -hmm. So then minus 4 square root of 7. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4, 7, 7. I just copy 7 or the common radical. Next, the magic of difference of squares is our conjugate. So you're going to have 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4 again. And then square root of 7, square root of 7, just take 1. So that will give us negative 8 minus 4, square root of 7, over 4 times 7 is 28. 4 minus 28 is negative. 24. We need to simplify this further because 8, 4, and 24 have common factor, which is 4. So we need to make a factor of negative 4. So we will have positive 2, positive square root of 7, divided by positive 24 divided by 4, 8. Am I right? 6, 6. 6, 12, 12, 24, all right. The end, so cancels out. The answer is negative 2. Why would I cancel that? Ah. I'm sorry. This would be negative 24. Okay, um, I'm doing it in my head in advance, sorry. So do I have more? Oh, my God. So that the answer will be cancel this out. So that is 2 plus square root of 7. And then 24 divided by 4 is 6. So that is the final answer. Again, comment below if you see some disaster for the solution for number 19. Okay, I still have one more. All right. So multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So that's 3 plus 4 square root of 6. 3 plus 4 square root of 6. Now, do the um, box method for the numerator and do the magic of the difference of squares for the denominator. Alright. So, I'm going to leave that. I can do the denominator first. We're running out of time. I might not be getting the final answer for this. I might not finish this one, but I will comment below the picture of the answer. Okay, minus 16, and then 6. And then here, 8 times 3, can be that 24. 8 times 4, that will be, ooh, 8 times 4, 16, 32, square root of 6. I'm doing FOIL, FOIL method. So minus 3 square root of 6, minus 4 times 6. And then simplify, we still have more time, 24, negative 4 times 6 is negative 24, so this will be cancels out. 
That would be negative 32 minus 3 is 19. Square root of 6, 